Welcome EPS parents and students to Microsoft Teams. Today we will be introducing Teams to you on your different devices. Please open the Microsoft Teams app on your device. This is a view of Microsoft Teams on the iPad and this is a view on the computer. Please note that on the iPad and Android device, Microsoft, Microsoft Teams options are on the bottom whereas on the computer, they are on the left-hand side. I'll be demonstrating Microsoft Teams on the computer today. Move to the Activity option and click or tap on it. This will show you everything that is happening in Microsoft Teams. The Teams option is where you will spend most of your time in Microsoft Teams. Your main team will be your class teacher. With this demonstration, Mrs. Drinkrow is the class teacher. Click or tap on your class teacher to access their team. On the left-hand side is where your channels will be listed. The only channel so far is general. Your teacher may add other channels in the future, such as your subjects. Channels are where you hold meetings, have conversation, and share files. The next option is Calendar. This is where you will see the meetings you are invited to. Next is Files. Here you will find the files you have worked on lately. The three little dots, if you click or tap them, lets you find an app. Your teacher will explain the apps you use. When you click or tap the circle at the top right hand side, it will show you your name. It will show you your status, if you're available or not. It will also allow you to sign out. I have gone back to the team option and will use MS Team Demo to show the channel functionality. At the top of each channel, you will find different tabs. These are links to your conversations or posts. Under post, to start a new conversation, click or tap in this area and start typing. If you would like to reply to a previous conversation, you can click or tap reply, type in your message and send the message. The icons at the bottom of the messages allow you to format your message, attach a file, you can insert an emoji, insert a GIF, add a sticker, or you can start a video chat. These options may differ on different devices. Another important tip if you want to reply to a specific person, all you need to do is type at and the first letter of the person's name. It will then search for the team members in your team. When you find the member you want to message, click or tap on them, press space and type your message. This paper jet icon is for send or you can press enter to send messages. The file tabs shows the files that are shared with the team. The class notebook is where your teacher can also assign work to you. I hope that you enjoyed this brief introduction to Microsoft Teams and you will enjoy learning online with your teacher.